All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings and much salutation to you, elect Akiam, across the four winds of this earth, kicking its word in sincerity and in truth. Also, Shabbat Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, coming at you all with another lesson. Okay, Lord willing, this edifying. And this lesson here is going to be a response to the brother GMS. Contrition is um, contrition is key. Okay, and it's in regards to the lesson this brother did. And the title of it is, 50% of mass shooters are Jake's now. Deception. And it is deception at the end of the day, man. Because um, you see when all these mass shootings take place, all right, it's always um, Edomites. Okay. You have the examples of uh, Columbine. I mean, the shooting in El Paso, Texas was an Edomite. Dayton, Ohio, Edomites. All right, there was even a shooting that had taken place. You know, I'm, I'm going to just bring the example of one that was years ago. I believe it was at uh, Kent State University in Ohio. And there's numerous, there's numerous other mass shootings that take place. And it's always found to be an Edomite. But, um... Within this article that this brother posted here, you see that Esau always has to try to redirect the attention somewhere else. All right. Which truly shows you that he is the devil. OK, he's definitely the devil that the Bible speaks of. OK, when one thinks of a mass shooting, one also has to correlate those mass shootings to the accounts that have taken place. What I mean is when you think of mass shootings, you think of the mass shootings that you've heard of. And they're never, they're never Jake's, all right? Now, that doesn't change the fact that Jake is wicked, all right? And Jake, when you look in the hoods, Jake is doing a, a bunch of mischief, okay? But when you look at the mass shootings of multiple people, when you, when you think of the, an account that takes place when somebody walks in a room and shoots up a bunch of people, all right? It's never, it's never Jake, all right? It's never the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man. It's always an Edomite, all right? And even as much as they love to throw those numbers and those percentages out there, which is all bullshit at the end of the day, because you have to think of it as who comes up with these statistics. It's, it's always a stat when it comes to this devil. All right. It's always well, professionals say, you know, but it's never just no fallible proof with it. They just throw numbers out there because that's what they do. OK, that's their job. OK, but it's always an Edomite, man. All right, you even have the movie that came out, uh, there's three of them called Rampage. All right, but what I was going to say earlier, all right, if it was Jake, you have to think of it as who supplies these weapons, who imports these weapons to these neighborhoods that these poor so-called so -called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans are getting. All right, we don't have access to stuff like this. A lot of these guns get shipped from all over the place. Okay, so it just goes to show you that Esau, all right, is the devil. OK, the W man. All right. And brothers, you know what I mean when I say that, you know, kind of got to filter these words because you know how YouTube's doing it. But, you know, what we're talking about. OK, so I don't have too many scriptures to go into. All right. But the first one is going to be here in the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 32, verse um, 32, verse seven. OK, let me pull it up real quick. It says, the instruments also of the churl are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right, and what are lying words from what that article had stated, man? All right, 29% are black. All right, I'm sorry, 51% are black. 29% are white. Okay, they just throw it out there, which we're considered as the poor. OK, we're the ones in the hoods, the ghettos, the barrios, you know, and that's where they import the guns too. OK, we understand it ain't all the guns, but a lot of these niggas and these, you know, these these so-called black men and Mexican men and Native American men in the hoods that you see when you see them with their AR-15s, you know, their AKs, M-16s, bulletproof vest, all this stuff. You ain't just going to the local gun store and getting this stuff, man. All right, this is all an agenda. And this is what the churl Esau 
does. It says he devised wicked to destroy us. And that's an example of it right there, man. They use those examples. They throw stats out there. They throw random numbers out there to deflect the attention off of themselves. So it gets poured on us. All right. And when you go into that word churl, that word goes into being a scoundrel. All right. Or an in, matter of fact, let's just get it. The word there is kaya, um, kaya, 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 kaya. All right. And it's a scoundrel. All right. And then when you go into the root kayal, it says uh, to support, endure, you know. But uh, the, the key point is in the word kayalaya, scoundrel. All right. And when you go into it, it says in a sense of withholding or niggardly. OK, so the true churl or the true scoundrel or the true nigger is Esau, Edom. OK, and that's what a nigger would do. All right. Lie and just throw a random number out there. And just say that, oh, well, you see, you know, really, we're not doing the mass shootings, but it's really these black people. All right. Even Ivana, um, Ivana Trump, Donald Trump's daughter, made a statement pretty much saying, I wish I could find it. But the brothers was talking about it earlier, trying to deflect the attention away from us. Matter of fact, let me find it really quick. Bear with me one sec, brothers. Baba Kishore. Hold on one sec, brothers. This is it right here. And it's Ivanka Trump. All right. And this is in her Twitter. OK, this is the she she to might. All right. Donald Trump's devil ass daughter. It says, as we grieve over the evil mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton, and you have to factor that in because she even said the evil mass shootings. But look at the ones who does this. All right. It's always eat them. All right. She says, as we grieve over the evil mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton, let us not overlook that Chicago experience is deadliest weekend of the year. So she's pretty much saying we understand that there's evil mass shootings take place. But don't forget about these niggas out here in Chicago. All right. Don't forget about these niggas. Remember, these niggas always shooting people. You know, that's what she had stated. And again, she, you know, she's the devil. And that's what the devil does. All right. As many as the many harmful works that Edom does, they always have to compare it to, to things, to things of Jake. All right. They saying, you know, we, we know it's evil what they did, but don't forget about these niggas here. And that's the devil for you, man. All right. That's the devil, because these Edomites are the main ones that are shooting up these schools, shooting up people, doing the mass shootings. OK, and she completely overlooked the word that she put in that own summary, which is mass. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull up the word mass really quick. When you go into the word mass, it says um, quant a quantity of matter cohering together so as to make one body. All right. It says a large quantity, a sum, a large in number, bulk, magnitude. OK, so let's go into the word bulk. The word bulk goes to excess body mass. All right. It says a hypothetical higher dimensional space within which our own four dimensional universe may exist it says the body okay so when you go into the word mass shooting you're literally going to a high bulk or a high volume of killings that take place all right so she pretty much said forget about this high volume of killing that these that these people did because the reason why she used chicago as an example as well because she knows that it's the so-called white man that does these mass shootings all right, or high volume or bulk. All right, and remember, he's the devil. Okay, you remember the foundation of America, blood. Forgot about all about that. All right, what Columbus did, what Cortez did when they came over here, it was a mass slaughter. And that's nothing but their MO. And they like to use reasons on why they did it. You know, when Christopher Columbus came over here, or, you know, to the Caribbean, all right, he tried to use um, lies to justify why he had subjected and killed those Tainos and those Arawaks in those native lands. 
Okay, those those Jakes over there from the Northern Kingdom, and the lie that Christopher Columbus said was they were they were um, killers. They were car they were um, not carnivorous. That too, they said that too, but they were um, cannibals. They had dog faces, and when he wrote that letter to King Ferdinand, he said these people need to be taken down. Okay, so they executed it and they went with it, and again that just goes into this devil's mo. Okay. So I have another scripture that I want to go into, and it's going to be in the book of uh, Daniel, chapter 7. One sec. Verse 25. And it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Now, the saints of the Most High are the Israelites. OK. And when you go into that word wear out, which is Balah. All right. It says to harass constantly. And that's what he's done in in this article that this brother had posted that he did this lesson on is an example of how he constantly harasses us. OK, yeah, there's yeah. Jake is wicked. We understand Jake. Jake, you know, J Jake does what they do. But you can't use that to deflect the mass shootings and the mass death that your people perpetuate. All right. But it goes to the form of constantly harassing us because that's what they do. And that's what, always what they've done. OK, ever since we've gotten the birthright, Esau said that he was going to harass us, man. As a matter of fact, that goes into Genesis 27 and I might as well pull it up. OK. Let's see here. So this is Genesis 27 to 41. And this is after the blessing was given to Jacob and Esau received his blessing as well, which was the sword and the fatness of the earth. OK, so Genesis 27 and one says. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother, and Haran, to Haran. Okay, so when Esau made that statement saying he will surely slay Jacob, not only does he do it with his sword, with his gun, with his weaponry, but he also does it with his words. Okay, that's why it goes into his tongue being likened to the poison of an asp, all right, which is a very venomous snake or an adder. Okay, a very venomous snake. And that's what he does. Even his lies and the words that he speak are evil and are and bring forth death. OK, and that's what he does. That's his M.O. And that's how he constantly harasses us, not only physically with his sword, but the lying words, which are likened to a poison that he pushes. OK, and that's what he does. And brothers, we only have a short amount of time where this devil is going to be doing these things, man. All right. He's going to be destroyed very quickly. Off the face of this earth First he's going to go in captivity But then he's going to be destroyed Because he's done too much on the planet earth Okay And you read it in Revelation where it says He's going to come down with wrath Because he knows that he has only but a short time And that's what this devil's doing Okay So um, this leads me To the last scripture That I want to bring out Because we read in the book of Daniel Chapter 7 verse 25 It said that he shall wear out the saints of the most high all right, and that word wear out, all right, which means um, to constantly harass, okay, and it also means to accuse, okay, and this is the, an example of what we've seen here. That's an example of this nigga, this devil accusing us. Even when they do wrong, when they do killings, when they do murder, they always still have to accuse us of something. You see, we did this, but these niggas do it too, you know, and he's just a big child at the end of the day, very childish. A very childish devil. Okay. So this is Revelation 12 and 10. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is salvation come. Okay. So this is pertaining to when the elect are delivered from mystery Babylon and the parts of the earth that they have been scattered to. Okay. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is our salvation. Now is salvation come or now is come salvation. Let me read it verbatim. And strength. And the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed. All right. For the accuser of our brethren and the accuser of our brethren is the one that had wished death upon us. Esau. 
that you read about in Genesis 27 and also the one that constantly harasses us and wears out the saints of the Most High. Okay, that's the accuser of our brethren. And even what you, with that, that article that was just read that this brother did this lesson on, that's another example of how he accuses us, man. All right, because again, he can do all the wrong in the world, but he's still going to accuse us in some way, form, or fashion when it comes to shootings or killings or whatever take place. All right, and it's at the, at the end of the day, it's a form of witchcraft, okay? And even within his media is a, is a way that he uses his witchcraft and he pushes it because the masses of the people are going to see this and, and through his witchcraft, they're going to be like, yeah, well, you know, he has a point. When there's no proof that we do mass shootings, mass shootings, by the way, I'm not talking about, you know, robberies and killings and stuff like that. You know, and Jake does it to their own people anyway. You know, the so-called Negro and Latino and Native American men, when they do it, they do it to their own people, which goes back to the curses at the end of the day. They're not justifying it. We understand that Jake is wicked, too. All right. Even Jeremiah said our people are laden with iniquity. So not not saying that our people aren't wicked because Jake is horribly wicked, desperately wicked. All right. But you have the man whose blessing is the sword who has been given the fatness of the earth. They are the ones that are killing people in a macroscopic scale. All right. And again, it says in the end of verse 10 in Revelation 12, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before the most high day and night. And that's an example right there, man. All right. That article there was another example of them accusing, accusing us before the most high. Another form of them saying, raise it, raise it. Okay. They've done it before. They've always done it, man. And it's only a small amount of time where you're going to just keep on doing this because you're being found out at the end of the day and you're being found out to be the devil. All right. Which you are. OK, so I'm going to end it off on that. Lord willing, this lesson or this response was edifying. OK, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone at Ruwell. Peace and salutations and many blessings to you, elect Akim, across the four winds of this earth, kicking this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.